God's message for you today. My beloved child, today I come to you with a message that invites you into the sacred rhythm of living, a life of worship that extends far beyond the confines of Sunday services. Worship, my dear ones, is not merely a song sung or a prayer uttered within the walls of a church. It's a melody that resonates in the very essence of your being, a harmony that weaves through every moment of your existence. In the heart of worship lies a profound truth. It's not about a time or a place. It's about a posture, a posture of the soul that recognizes and responds to the divine presence in the everyday tapestry of life. It's a way of living that transforms the mundane into the sacred, the ordinary into the extraordinary. Imagine, if you will, a life where every breath is a prayer, every step a dance, and every task a sacred offering. This is the essence of living a life of worship. It's an invitation to intertwine your daily existence with the sacred thread of devotion, creating a symphony of praise that reverberates through the corridors of heaven. Let me guide you into the depths of living a life of worship in the hustle and bustle of life. Amidst the cacophony of the world, let your breath become a prayer. As you inhale, breathe in my presence, and as you exhale, release the burdens and worries that weigh upon your heart. Let every breath be a reminder that you are sustained by the breath of life, a gift from the Creator to His beloved children. Worship is not confined to grand gestures. It flourishes in the simplicity of the everyday, in your ordinary tasks, whether it be washing dishes, tending to a garden, or completing work assignments, recognize the sacredness within them. Offer each task as a labor of love, a way of honoring the gift of life and the abilities I have bestowed upon you. Gratitude is the melody of worship. Let your heart be a constant song of thanksgiving. Amidst challenges and triumphs, cultivate a spirit of gratitude. Remember the ten lepers I healed? Only one return to express gratitude. Be like that one leper, acknowledging the gifts, blessings, and miracles that unfold in your life as you walk through the journey of life. Let your steps be a prayerful dance. Just as I walked with my disciples, accompany me in your daily travels. Be aware of the beauty around you, the rustling leaves, the warmth of sunlight, the laughter of children. In every step, experience the divine choreography of life. Your words carry immense power. Let your speech be seasoned with grace and kindness. Use your words to uplift encourage and spread love. Remember, your tongue has the power of life and death. Choose life and let your words be a symphony of hope and encouragement to those around you. Worship involves a dialogue, not a monologue. Take time to listen in the stillness of your heart. In the quiet moments of reflection, listen for my gentle whispers I speak in the wind, in the silence, and in the depths of your soul. Create spaces for listening, and you will find that worship is a reciprocal conversation. The essence of worship is love. Love for me, and love for your neighbor. In your interactions with others, let love be the guiding force. Love generously, forgive willingly, and extend grace abundantly. By loving your neighbor, you reflect the very heart of worship, just as the widow offered her two small coins. Offer the talents and gifts I have entrusted to you. Whether you sing, create art, write or serve in practical ways, let your talents be offerings of worship. 
Use your unique abilities to bring beauty, healing, and joy into the world. Worship is not reserved for moments of joy. It is equally powerful in times of challenge. In the midst of trials, let your worship be a declaration of faith. Remember the Psalms, poems of both lament and praise. Express your heart honestly, knowing that even in difficulties, you can find solace in the presence of your shepherd. Generosity is a form of worship, just as I gave myself sacrificially for you. Let your life be marked by generosity. Share your resources, time, and love with those in need. In generosity, you emulate the heart of worship, a heart that gives freely and abundantly. Living a life of worship is a continuous dance, a dance of surrender, love, gratitude, and service. It's an acknowledgement that every facet of your life can be an expression of devotion to me. When you embrace this perspective, you'll find that your life becomes a living hymn a testimony to the transformative power of a relationship with me. Remember, my dear ones, worship is not confined to a specific time or place. It's a lifestyle, a way of being in the world. When your life becomes a living sacrifice offered in worship, you participate in a divine symphony that echoes through eternity. As you embark on this journey of living a life of worship, may your days be infused with the sacred, your actions be an offering of love, and your heart be a sanctuary where my presence dwells. If you resonate this message, then like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Amen.